Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with another quick video for you. So let's get started. So I'm gonna be using flexi rods in this video. So I'm gonna try something differently by letting my hair air dry partially before I get started. So I'm not dealing with soaking wet hair. And by doing that, I'm gonna just first apply some leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter, their almond milk line. I love this stuff. As you can see, it's almost gone. I like to use liquid leave-in conditioners when I'm doing styles like these versus a heavier cream leave-in conditioner that I would use for my twist outs where in that case I'm not looking for a light fluffy curl, I'm doing a twist out and I'm trying to get great definition. So in this case I'm trying to get a lighter result so I'm going to go with the liquid leave-in conditioner for this. It's totally up to you, it's up to how your hair works, it's, this is just my preference. So I'm gonna comb that through, and I think I let this sit for like five or 10 minutes while I got the perm rods and everything else together. My hair is about 75% dry at this point, which is what I was looking for, considering that I wanted it to air dry, which is cool. So I'm still gonna be applying additional products, so I don't have a problem with making sure my hair sticks to the flexi rod. The product that I'm gonna start with is the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Styling Foam. I love this stuff. I usually use this for my flexi rod sets. And then I'm gonna follow up with one of my favorites by Curls, which is their Curl Control Jelly. I love this stuff because it has good shine and good hold, and it's not too heavy to wear it away this style down. The technique for this I thought was pretty simple. I twisted my hair around the flexi rod in a circular motion, and I secured my ends to, and made sure they were smooth at the end. If you need to add a little bit additional product on there to make sure that it stays in place, because that is crucial to how your curls come out and then just turning the top over and securing that in place. So I did adjust the size of my sections and I redid that first one just to make my section smaller. I thought I was starting off a little large. A crucial step for these is to make sure that your flexi rods are securely in place. So simply just flip the top down in the opposite direction of where you started twisting and they should stay securely in place. I'm gonna show you this process again. Now at this point, my hair is completely dry. So I'm applying the styling foam and the curl control jelly. Feel free to add any additional products towards the ends of your hair just to make sure that they stick to the flexi rod because that's gonna make or break your style here. Always making sure to brush that product through, making sure your hair is smooth and those ends are nice and slick. So here we go. So it's just twisting your hair around the flexi rod. It's totally different than wrapping your hair around the flexi rod. And I'm gonna show you a clip here from my previous tutorial where I'm wrapping my hair around the flexi rod versus twisting. So I'm just here just smoothing my hair around the shape of the flexi rod. And that's gonna result in a totally different curl. I'll have the link for that video below as well. But I'm trying to get wand curls here, so that's why I'm doing the twisting motion. Making sure that your hair is pulled tightly at the root and then you're simply just twisting it around, leaving a small space in between each motion, just like you would if you were twisting it around a curling wand. Same concept. The takedown with these, pretty simple. You're just unraveling the rod in the opposite direction that you twist it. Pretty simple. Take your time with these, with any style taking them down. You don't wanna cause any unnecessary frizz after all the time you took to set these beautiful curls. You don't wanna mess that up. Very pleased with the results I got here. I mean, look at this shine. The definition was amazing. I think it's safe to say that I achieved my goal of getting the wand curls. I think I did. A nice stretched, loose curl. You don't have to worry about um, shrinkage. I know a lot of people stray away from perm rod sets and roller sets because they end up with shrinkage, but this is a good way to have control over how long you want your curl to be by um, using a flexi rod versus a perm rod, you have more length to work with. I'm not gonna do too much separating on day one hair. Um, I think I just separated each piece just about one time. Um, I was really loving the definition on these, so I didn't wanna mess it up too much. And plus, it was 94 degrees outside this day, and I know I was going out, so I didn't want to risk losing all this, so I tried to keep it at a bare minimum. So I did fluff out my roots just a little bit, um, but other than that, I kind of left it as is. I was very pleased, and I like the the short, shorter style because you can stretch this out even more than where I am now, but I left it alone. I will definitely be adding this style into rotation. I really like the fact that it looks like I did actually use a curling iron on these. Let me know, did I get the heatless wand curls? 
or no? Comment down below, let me know. And also, if you have any questions or anything I may have left out, I hope I did not rush through this too fast for you. As always, I like to try and answer your questions and I appreciate the support from everyone. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.